Hello, I am Test Drive, welcome to episode 2 of Wreckfest. We're in this episode, we're going to be continuing on with the career and the regional juniors thingy, jigger thingy. And I guess we're going to be doing Demotion Racing Heat Race or Series. I don't know, let's do this one. Uh, do I have any cars? I do, I have a Mustang and a lawnmower. It's called a Rocket. Gee, this totally isn't a Mustang. Not at all. Not a 67 Mustang, to be specific. <laughs> it's identical. Um, but I guess we'll be using that, so... Uh, sounds good to me. Spin out at least three opponents. Cause at least a thousand damage. Alright, let's do it. I'll try it. Crash Canyon. Oh, that's an interesting track layout. If that's it on the bottom right there. Well, not really bottom right, but kind of bottom right area. Let's see. What the hell's going on? Maybe. Dead meat, it says. And this is also taking a while to load. Please don't crash. Alright. Welcome to Crash Canyon Main Circuit. Yes, <laughs> that was the layout of the track, you could tell from here. Oh my god, this looks awful. There's an El Camino. Oh, so we have three, uh, or no, two heats, two heats, so, yeah, semi-final, um, alright, anyways, let's see, that's all the same, suspension, gear ratio, any different, huh, I can tune my car, uh, anyways, I guess we'll go ahead and get started, Oh, oh. that sucked, alright, I'm gonna have to restart, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because, yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Guess I'm hoping not to screw up that bad. Go! Shift! Before people pump me. Alright, hopefully I don't get spun out this time. That would be great if I was able to not get spun out. Hey, it's that car that was in the game from the beginning. Oh god! Alright, I guess I'm going over here for a second. Hello, 57 Chevy. Of some sort. Ah. Oh god. There's lots of bad things happening. Hey, there's a Blazer. A K5 Blazer. Is that GTO? Or Chevelle? This is Chevelle. Chevelle looking ass. Oh, K5. Hello. Oh god. Alright, whatever. I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. So, my position isn't red anymore, which is good. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means I can actually complete this, or nah. Oh, later. He's having a bad day. Okay, five. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Alright, El Camino! But I like how uh, these cars are very obviously licensed cars of sorts. But they just don't have any badges or lights or anything on them. It's nice. Alright, I'm in fourth place on lap three. Oh, later, idiot! Oh god! You asshole! Ow. Oh, my car is getting very smashed. Very smash. Sad Mustang. Okay. Central Ghost was a winner, apparently. And I finished. So, do I get to continue? Qualifying. Oh, I just qualified. Okay. Alright. Hey, I made it to the semi Okay, so it was the top 12 that made it to the semifinals. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. I like this music that is still on, even though I turned it off. Alright. Let's go. Go! And that's one of those games where you have to like shift up as soon as the race starts. Which are always nice. Oh god. Ripping Mustang. Ah! Ow. Asshole. 
Crushing your rival to get more your revenge and earn bonus points. Eh. I'd rather just win at the moment. Seems like it might be not that hard. There we go. Slow down. Oh god. How do I control this car? Oh, people are crashing behind me. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Oh my god. That's terrifying. This car does have a four speed. That's nice. Four speed Mustang, 67. Except everyone needs Mustangs with three speeds before this year Mustang. Three speed manuals, that is. So once I get in the first, it's actually not that bad. Getting the first is kind of hard, though. This game actually, it's a lot better looking and feeling than I thought it would be, honestly. For being a, uh, a fairly low budget game. It's not incredibly high budget. But it's not incredibly low budget either, I guess. But like, THQ Nordic. I like how my name's Test Drive question mark. Because it's like, Test Drive trademark on Steam. And I guess the trademark doesn't translate over this game. So it's just question mark. What is, what is this? All right, so let's go. On to the final we go. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm in first. Yeah! Yo! I kind of use my wheel with this too because there's a lot of options for the wheel uh, users. So I'm kind of intrigued to use my wheel, but I don't have a place to set it up at the moment. Sadly. All right. Let's give it a go. Let's get that get that chicken dinner. Oh, we got six laps this time around. Ooh, a few more than usual. If I can get around this without damaging my car at all, I can surely give it a try. Best lap. Third and two. How do I change views? That's not how you change views. That's apparently how you look at all of the uh, positions of everybody. Speed to okay, so that's a reset button. I'm sure that's an e-brake of some sort. Oh, there we go. That's why. I have no gauges though. I mean, I guess it makes sense because derby car, but whatever. Oh, cool! It's got uh, a look back in the inside that's like actually inside the car. I love when games have that and don't just you know make you look behind the car. Forza. Cough, cough. Like GT5 did it. Gran Turismo 6 did it. This game does it. I know some other games I can't think of the names of at the moment. I think Grid and Grid Autosport and Grid 2 had this kind of back view. Dirt games had this de definitely had this kind of back view because some cars you just couldn't see out the back. Actually, Rise of the Challenge 2 had that. I think about it had uh, a review like this, even though that game had a very, very primitive interior view system. I'm actually doing pretty well with the ABS off and everything too. I'm not spinning out that much, not locking up my brakes that much. I'm sure it might change in the future at some point, but whatever. I have to say though, this game is actually pretty cool. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying my uh, my gameplay book so far. I'm very far ahead of the AI. I'm 7.7 .7 seconds be or ahead, not behind. I like how there's like are these like actual they're not actual people obviously because they're AI. But like, are they actual like Steam usernames? Test drive question mark. I kind of saw this as windshield was attached. Nice. And they kind of face through the dash there for a second. 
Alright, let's see the heckin' drift around here. Close enough. And on to our final lap, I think. Question mark? Yeah. Aw. I did slightly better with my, my best lap. But yeah, so far this game's feeling fantastic, actually. I feel like I'm thoroughly going to enjoy playing through it. Because I've never been too much of a fan of the Flat Out series, um, after playing a few, like Flat Out 1 and 2. But I would never be against playing them, like, for Let's Play in the future, but I don't know. This game just feels a lot nicer than the earlier Flat Out games, which I guess would be expected because it's a new game. But there we go, there was the end of that race, there was the end of our, uh, our series. Header stacks for Rocket. Oh, we got event, okay. Alright, we can level up, hell yeah we are. Ooh, I unlocked the Firefly, whatever that is. Sport fuel system, aka a carburetor. And an intake manifold for the carburetor. Mesh grill bumper, ooh. Oh, I leveled up again. Sport exhaust, sport ignition, window mesh, which is nice so I don't have shit. Oh, I can like look around while I'm in here. Alrighty. So there we go. Congratulations, you have completed the series. I didn't achieve any of the stars for it, rip. I didn't feel like spinning people out. Well, I did feel like spinning people out, but I couldn't easily do it. But anyways, I guess next episode we'll head on to the Demolition Racing series. Natural Born Wreckers, I guess. Something like that. Um, so thank you all so much for watching this second episode. And for now, I'm out of here. See ya.